I say no, Henry. I, well, I'm, I'm jolly glad you've got in touch with me. Though, of course, I wasn't doing anything in particular. I must say, St. John, you do look as though you might have been about to be up to something. What? Oh. Oh, no. No. No, not really. It, it was just, um... Well, it was just... I saw the lights on, so I guessed that some of you, one or two, perhaps, would come. But I didn't expect all of you. Not at this time of year, with all your families and responsibilities. Thomas would have been so touched. So touched. My thanks on his behalf. My thanks. He died an hour ago. Of course, they did everything they could right up to the end. But as we've all known for some time, there was nothing to be done. You know how much you all meant to him. He talked of every one of you. Every evening until... And I also expect you want to know what its future is to be, this school that he loved so much. I know his wishes. We discussed them quite openly once we both knew that he was bound to leave us. And I've also spoken to Henry. I don't suppose it'll be any surprise to you to know that I asked Henry some time ago to take over the school as sole principal. I have no desire to take an active part in it now that Thomas is no longer here. <laughs> I loved it for his sake, you see. I make no secret of that. Not this evening. <laughs> Not this evening. I shall be leaving the flat as soon as possible. It's got too many memories. And then and, and settle somewhere by the sea. As we'd always planned to do. I hope some of you will come and see me. Bless you. Bless you. Well, I, I really don't wish to speak at such a moment about plans or changes. We'll have a meeting to go into those at the beginning of term. But I, I should just say that I've already talked to Mark about his following me as academic tutor, and I'm happy to say that he's accepted. Thank you. Thank you. Indeed. So, until next term, which has a very reasonable enrollment, I'm glad to report. Let me just assure you that I shall do my best, as I know you will, to maintain our position as a flourishing school. And I know Thomas and Eddie wouldn't want me to let you part without wishing you all a very happy Christmas. So, see you all next time. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Yes, 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 and to you. <clears throat> well, Henry, I say, you and Mark. Well, that's quite a team, you know. Thank you, St. John. Well, good night, Henry. We must uh, talk, eh? And uh, St. John, over Christmas, you must pop round. Mmm, I love that. Thanks, Mark. See you then. Love to Camellia and Tom and little Mark, too. Sorry if I was a little edgy earlier, Henry. Put it down to my current condition and Yugoslav au pairs. <laughs> you get home to your Ophelia, my dear, and make Nigel look after you. Oh, I will, Henry. See you over Christmas, St. John, I hope. Oh, Lord, yes. Lovely, lovely. Night, Anita. And love to little Ophelia. Nigel, too. Sorry Daphne couldn't make it, Henry. But she's very much looking forward to her courses next term. Well, I'm looking forward to having her join us. Good night, dear. Trot round when you're feeling the mood, St. John. Lots of paintbrushes for you two wheels. Groovy. I love the smell of paint. Love to Daphne. Night, Henry. Night. Good night, Melanie, my dear. And perhaps we can all get together after Christmas. Fanny was saying how much she'd like to see you after all this time. Love to. Love to. And St. John, if you're free, pop round for a drink. Oh, yes, please, Melanie. I'd like that. Well, St. John, where were you off to tonight, by the way? What? Oh, Lord, nowhere, Henry. 
No, no, there was a suitcase, you see, that I still haven't unpacked. It's been down in Mrs. Harris's cellar all these years. And suddenly she wanted the space, so she made me take it upstairs. And of course, I opened it up, and there it was. So I decided to try it on, see if it still fits. Then you phoned, so I came straight on over here, quite getting that I had it on. Huh. You know, it stinks of mothballs, I'm afraid. It's not a bad fit, eh? No. No, it's not a bad fit. It might come in useful sometime. But I say, poor old lady, what? Ah, oh, poor old lady. Wasn't he terrific? Yes, indeed. Sinjin. Sinjin, I've been worrying about this for, oh, ever since I realized I was to take over from Eddie and Thomas. If I'm to be principal, I have to run the school in my own way, you see. Oh, I know that, Henry. We all do. And I don't see, you see, however fond of you I happen to be, we all happen to be, that there's any room for you anymore, you see. I thought it only fair to tell you at the first, the, the very first possible opportunity, so that you can, well, look around. No, no. No, that's right. Thank you, Henry. Oh, Lord, I... I know that I haven't got much to offer. I never had, I suppose. And, well, recently it's got even worse. No, it's a wonder, it's really a wonder that people have put up with me for so long, eh? If I could see any way, I... No, 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 I mean, it's no good being all right in the staff room if, if you're not any good in the classroom, is it? They're different things. I can't tell you how much I'll miss you. We all will. Uh, now I'll miss it. All of you. Yes, I know. Well, would you like a quick drink or come back and see Fanny? Oh, no, no, thanks, Henry, no. No, I'll just stay here for a while, if I may, and, you know, get myself used to, uh, and then I'll go in a minute. Well, good night, St. John. Good night, Henry. See you next. 